Hey guys, uh, Pesky Wombat here, and today we're going to be playing a game from uh, Space Backyard on itch.io. It's an awesome website where you can um, find these small games that people develop, and sometimes they ask for some money, sometimes they don't, sometimes they're free. Generally, when people make ga do game jams, they upload their games to this website and share to the world. And uh, yeah, this is a game called Bird of Passage. It caught my eye. The artwork looks absolutely awesome. So we're going to play some of this. Right, let's have a look. Hmm. Uh, resolution, that looks good. Graphics, quality, or the right one. <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, display one, that's fine. Uh, so let's play. Okay, Unity. Seems like a really cool game. I don't know what it's about yet. It looks like uh, you're just following a taxi. It's quite interesting. Okay, so I've been living here for a long time, but this does not mean that I know where I want to go just yet. Are you from Tokyo? I doubt you would recognize the Tokyo I used to know. Tokyo was shattered a long time ago. Yes I, am. yes, I am. In a way, I come from a lost version of Tokyo. Let's do that one. Uh, how do you mean lost? Literally, the city in which I was born is not on a map any longer. Hmm. That version of Tokyo disappeared into a void. There are witnesses that can confirm this. I see. What kind of witnesses? Witnesses that have seen and experienced the devastation that took place. You mean survivors like you? Maybe, but they belong in a museum. I don't. Hmm, like a relic, maybe. Do you mean old things? They are no longer just things. They have been reshaped by history. Now they are artifacts. They carry a story. Ah, oh, that's cool. Maybe I'm just extremely old. Um, one witness is still alive, actually. Ooh. Is it? It is. Can you keep a living witness in a museum? It is not in a museum. This one is a tree. A tree? What kind of tree? A resilient one. It's a tree you would find in any garden, really. Not just any tree, a moving tree. Let's go for a resilient one. That tree has seen things. It has survived the Great Kanto Earthquake. Hmm. I deeply admire the resilience certain plants manifest. No matter what happens to them, they resist. What type of plants can do that? Ginkgo trees. Some of them survive the most lethal weapon man has ever created. They are called Hibaku Jumoku. That's cool. Scientists were certain nothing could grow again in that area. Ginkgos proved them wrong. You seem to know a lot about ginkgos. Not really as much as I'd like to. I've spent almost a century studying them. Hmm. Maybe the top one. Not nearly as much as I'd like. What do you mean? I know their scientific name is Ginkgo biloba, and that biloba describes the shape of the leaves. Oh, I just got a uh, Kickstart notification there. I'll probably get rid of that. I know their fleshy outer coat of the seeds has a strong smell. I know their bark has a corky texture, and I know the colour of their leaves in every season of the year. And and what I don't know is where to find my ginkgo seeds. Do you have some? I did. What happened to them? It's a long story. So, I don't want to impose. Sorry about that. Listen, my car is about at your disposal for as long as the night lasts. You're very kind. My story begins like this. 
I was in the garden holding some seeds in my hands. That was the last shard of my past that I recall clearly. It's funny how I remember being alive thanks to the mundanity of my last actions. Just another Saturday in a vast collection of Saturdays. Late autumn is the right season to plant your ginkgo seeds, not September. So I had to put them away, you see, store them in a dark place. And then earth beneath my feet started trembling, fissures ripped the ground, everything crumbled. All of a sudden something hit me hard on the back of the head. What happened next? I fell on my knees, facing the back of my garden. The seas rolled away after an aftershock, pushed me to the ground. I died, shielding the seeds with my body. My very last thought was dedicated to them. Do you think they survived? Hmm. What do you think? Uh, me? Yes, do you think it's even possible? Well, tonight you have taught me that these plants are quite resistant. They are. You also told me the story of a tree that survived the Great Kanto Earthquake. I did. So if you ask me, I'd say that yes, it is possible more than that. I believe we will find your ginkgo tree. Its roots planted deeply where you once fell on your knees, its branches vigorously reaching for the sky. After so many years and struggles, you will finally stand beneath your ginkgo with myriads of tiny yellow fan-shaped leaves falling upon you like a silent rain. Do you really believe that? I do. No, but nobody ever believed my story. Nobody ever took the time to literally listen to me. Nobody ever nurtured the seeds of my tale until you did tonight and it has made all the difference. You have finally given me closure. For this I cannot thank you enough. Oh, is that the tree? You are welcome, and as a taxi driver it is my duty to bring you to your destination, and I think we are here at last. Indeed we are, after all these years I am here again. You are home. I am. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. So these are the seed, this is the tree resulting from the seeds that he shielded when he died due to an earthquake, I guess. It's very pretty. I like the colours. He's probably been wandering around for years. What's happening to him? Looks like he's crippling over a little bit. Oh. Oh well. Wow. See, he's turning into the tree. He's a part of the tree. He was the life of the tree. That's really cool. I'm not sure if this game was for a game jam, but um, if it was, it's very cool for a game jam. And if it isn't, that's cool anyway. Wow, that's very neat. Very nice graphics, really, really nice. Well, it's very short, but still, it's quite a nice game. I guess there's like a story which you, um, I don't know if it's linear. Maybe we'd have to play it another time or another again, or maybe. If you guys play it, if you let me know in the comments if it's the exact same, or it's linear, or does it take you on different paths. Thank you for driving the yokai home. I oh, know, it's really cool. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching this. Uh, I know it's short, but thanks for watching the video anyway. Um, Give this game a go, see what you think, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing some more indie um, based games or f games generally from the game jams um, in the future. So if you mind subscribing or if you like those types of games, then yeah, hope to see you again soon. Bye.